Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's not Friday this week. I am taking tomorrow completely off. I'm going to have a long weekend. So um, we're doing Facebook Friday today on Thursday. So hopefully you guys will find me. Um, you will hopefully remember that today is the day. I'm going to pull this up on my iPad. Hopefully it's working. And I have to just give you guys... <laughs> fair warning. I have a full house today. I have my mom's dog here. So I've got not only the schnauzers, but also the corgi. And my daughter and her friend are right outside the front window playing, running around crazy. So who knows what's going to happen today? It's just going to be crazy. So if you guys are okay with that, we're going to just trudge through because what else can we do, right? Our kids are at home. There's nothing to do. <laughs> They're here. All right, well, good. I see you guys jumping on. Thank you. Hi, Gina. Hi, Kathy. I'm glad you're joining me. Um, today, oh, and I don't even have it over here. Today, we're doing Hippo Happiness. This is one of the stamp sets in the new annual catalog that really jumped out at me. It's so cute. Um, it has a lot of critters, and I think the name Hippo Happiness kind of throws you off because two of the projects don't even use the hippo. <laughs> So one of them does, but the other two don't. So it's not just about hippos. So if you don't like hippos, don't worry. We're going to do the unicorn and the butterfly. Um, and I'm also going to show you um, how to line these guys up. It's two and three step stamping, stamping on these. And, and to save yourself the frustration, the best thing to do is to use your stamparatus. So that's what we're going to do today. All right. Um, if you've never joined me before, make sure you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Hopefully it went up. Hopefully one of you have checked it. Um, there's a PDF over there that looks just like this, and it's under the last photo, and it'll have today's projects, the measurements, and the supply list on there. All right? All right. I have some things to tell you. First of all, um, the new, the brand new um, all-star tutorial bundle started in July. We do six month rounds. I never know how to say that. We do six month periods. <laughs> I don't know. We, we commit to six months, right? And we, we say we're going to all work together for six months. And then after six months, sometimes people leave, we get new people, whatever. But at the beginning of that six months, um, the subscription opens. So the subscription is for those of you who don't, um, order stamping up from me. Um, this is something that is created for me to give to my customers as a thank you, really as a thank you gift for uh, shopping with me. Um, so if you spend more than $50 with me online, you'll get this in your email for free. But like I said, if you are, uh, maybe you're a demonstrator yourself or you have a demonstrator and you really want this, um, it's always available in my PDF store, but in July, you can subscribe. And subscribers actually get the sixth month for free. Um, so you can subscribe and you can, it's $15 a month. You can either pay $15 a month or you can pay it all up front. And I am um, religious about sending this on the first of every month. My subscribers get it every month um, on the first. So if you're interested in that, um, we actually have a blog hop scheduled this afternoon. So I'll have another blog post that goes up in a couple of hours. But it's also linked at the bottom of today's post. You can go find it and read about the different ways you can get this. Uh, my team, of course, always gets it for free. And um, this month, we've really changed um, the feel of the whole tutorial. It's really, really neat. Um, each one, each project this month is all about the peony garden. Y'all know I can't say that very well. Peony garden. Um, and so it's 12 tutorials featuring the peony garden. Um, and it's 12 different designers from all over the world. And the measurements, of course, are in metric and imperial. There's mine. Um, the thing that's really cool this month is that we each have um, committed to doing a video. So there's a link in there to the video. So, because a lot of times these projects are so much easier um, to do when there's a video. And we decided to take that leap and uh, do a video. So that's pretty cool. You'll have 12 video tutorials. Um, this month, mine is a 3D. I, I typically do 3Ds on all of mine. I'm not supposed to show you, so take a look at it. It's super cute. Um, and my video shows you how to put that flower together. It's a cinch. I know when you look at that that um, die set of the peony garden, you're like, what in the world? I well, When I got it, there was no video at all out. And I looked at those dies and I thought, 
I, I don't know how to use these. But when I started playing around with them, I realized there is a there's a system to the madness. So um, it makes sense and it makes putting that flower together super easy. It looks all um, complicated. Here's my card that'll be on the blog hop today. So anyway, if you're interested in that, check it out. Let me know. Um, the subscription links, if you want to subscribe, are there on the blog post um, from a few days ago. But also, if you scroll down today's post, there's a photo and you can click on it. It'll take you over there. All right. So Peony Garden. Next month, we're doing a different suite every month. And we have them all planned out. And I, for the life of me, can't even remember what's next what's next month but each month it'll be a different um, suite from the annual catalog all right all right the second thing I want to tell you is the whale done class can't really see it in here um, I sent an email out yesterday and I totally forgot to put this in <laughs> in the email the whale done or um, whale of a time class to go is so so cute um, it the the really the star of the of the class is this mini album this mini board book album I just love it um, when I saw that that paper I knew that it had to be featured in a little board book so that is part of the class as well as six cards um, you can get the class to go it's delivered to your mailbox it's not an in-person class and it's not an online class uh, meaning that you don't show up online at a certain time it's a PDF that's sent to you and it has a video attached to it um, and then you just do it whenever you want if you're up at 3 a.m. you can do it at 3 a.m. if you are home on a Saturday afternoon you can do it on a Saturday afternoon um, but it comes delivered to your mailbox with everything that you need except for ink and adhesive you can add on the stamps or you can purchase it with the stamps in punch or you can pur purchase it without the stamps and punch so um, it's up to you whichever option you want hey Terry good to see you um, so that is there's a link to that on today's post uh, too. Um, the deadline for that's not towards the end of the month so you have some time if you want to go check it out I also have a little video showing you the projects and stuff and telling you all about what you're gonna get in that class it's uh, really uh, that paper just I don't know any I think you could wallpaper your house with that paper it's so cute <laughs> um well maybe you wouldn't want to but it's really cute okay how about door prizes last week I had I randomly chose two people who shared last week's video and Lisa I don't know how to say your name is it Eli or Ellie Ellie that's my daughter's name but we spell it different Lisa Ellie and I know it's backwards E-L-Y Lisa you know who you are and Nancy Peters Nancy I do have your mailing address I believe Lisa, I don't think I have yours. So message me your, your uh, mailing address and I will get these out to you. Thank you so much for sharing my video on Facebook. It is very helpful for me and I appreciate it. This week I have um, kind of a sleeper set, I think. Um, I'm gonna give away two of these next week. Round of applause. I used this set to make my daughter's best friend's graduation card and it was gorgeous. Um, it's a really, really neat set and it's good. It's one of those you need, right? Like a sentiment that says, happy graduation. We all just need that stamp. Um, thank you so much. Congratulations. Here's to a few, bright future. You can do anything, obviously. And you did it. That's really good. Sometimes um, if I have a budget and, and I can only buy a certain amount of stamps, which is most of us, right? I don't want to spend my budget on sentiments although terry is here and terry goes for the sentiments she's a fan of the sentiments but i want the cute images so sometimes i find that i'm lacking in sentiments um, but it's worth investing sometimes in a set like this um, because there will be times when you need those sentiments okay so anyway i will give this away to two people random who share the video this week on facebook all right that was fast that's all i have to tell you um club create is on today's PDF too. Um, you guys, your response to Club Create has been huge. Oh, I just hit my light. Huge. Um, I may even have to close sign up for Club Create <laughs> because physically I can only cut <laughs> so much. I don't know. I'm going to try to keep it open as long as I can. But if you want to subscribe um, beginning this month to get this month's kit, July 7th is the, the cutoff. Um, and then it, you can continue to subscribe um, but if you subscribe after the 7th you won't start until the following month so there's that 
If you want details on that, click on that link. Um, remember, go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Under the last photo is this PDF. It's free. It's yours. Do whatever you want with it. Print it. Save it. Whatever. Um, it has everything that you need today, everything that I've talked about, um, as well as the information on these projects. And it also has the host code up there. The host code's important because if you want me to send you today's projects for free, you have until Monday at midnight to put in an order, $35 minimum, and um, on Tuesday morning, it's the first thing I do when I get in my office, is I pull out all the names who've ordered and I cut all those ki those kits for you. So, um, and they're free, I mail them to you for free. Let me just show you, like here's last week's. You will need the stamps and die, whatever I'm featuring, the stamps and die. But other than that, like I cut out the star and the banner for you. This is the triangle one, so you'll need the triangle dies, obviously. Um, and then here's another one, the little zany zebra. So cute. Um, but anyway, the little, that right there is not a pre-stamped image. That is a tag. That is a thank you tag, like a thank you card. See, there's one right there. All right. So if you want that for free, make sure you get your order in by Monday at midnight. All right, and I am taking the weekend off. Um, Fourth of July here in the United States, um, and my husband is off tomorrow, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna clear the schedule, and we're gonna watch Hamilton all day <laughs> on Disney+. Plus. My husband is obsessed with Hamilton, and he's so excited because it's gonna be released tomorrow on Disney+. Plus. So I have a feeling at 8 a.m. tomorrow, he's gonna be blasting Hamilton on the television. <laughs> But anyways, it's 4th July weekend, so hopefully we'll get out and have some fun. I don't know if we will, but <laughs> who knows, right, these days. All right, I'm going to switch you guys around. We did buy a boat, um, and we're supposed to get it. He said by the end of this week, I don't know, you guys, they said they had to get it lake ready. It takes them two weeks to get it lake ready. Let's try it. Let's try it. Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hmm. I may have to take out that microphone. Let's see. Hello. Lost sound. Okay, let me take the microphone out. Now, can you hear me? I feel like the Verizon guy. Can you hear me now? I don't know. That's weird. Let me see if you guys can hear me. <laughs> I'm going to write you guys a note. I know, I know, I can see that you can't hear me. Yes, Julie says you can hear me. Okay, good. I'm back. <sighs> it's very 2020, isn't it, for the sound to go out? I was just saying that we bought this boat, and they've closed the boat ramps at the, well, the public boat ramp at the, the lake that's near us. <laughs> I mean... 2020 needs to just get out of here. I'm ready for 2021 and for all of this to be over. Sorry about the sound. I don't know. Who knows? I have a microphone that I plug in. And one time when I pre-recorded my videos, the microphone um, didn't record any of the sound. One time. So who knows? I don't know. I unplugged it. So good. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Okay, let's get started. This project, and you know what? I just realized I forgot to, oh no, here it is. Okay, never mind. I thought I forgot my Wink of Stella. It was in the living room. I was Wink of Stella-ing while we watched TV last night. Um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this really cute um, birthday cake Kit Kat. Have you guys seen these? Um, 
I, limited edition, so they won't be around forever. I got this at CVS, but they also have it at Walmart. I wanna make sure the camera's not shaking because I have my fan on, it looks pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna leave it unless you guys tell me it's like rolling. Um, anyways, birthday cake Kit Kat. It's the regular size of a Kit Kat, so if you can't find these, you can always just do a regular size. I just like the color of it, the blue. And you can always change the um, color of your cardstock. Yeah, you guys, all parks and beaches closed. Right, but the lake itself is enclosed. You just can't get your boat in there <laughs> using the ramp. I know, fun times. Okay, so birthday cake Kit Kat. That's what we're gonna make. And if I can get this paper off of here. And Carla, I saw your um, comment about my fingernails. That's funny, we have the same taste. Carla and I do with our fingernails. Okay, focus telling myself to focus. We're gonna make the holder first. Um, this is Flirty Flamingo. Oops, I need my Simply Score. Let me grab that. Flirty Flamingo. And <laughs> Julie, you're preaching to the choir. It is ridiculous, I know. Um, there's so many things that are ridiculous these days. I just, it's almost like you can't, you can't even be shocked anymore. <laughs> you know, you just have to laugh. At, at all of it. Okay, focus, 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 Erica. <laughs> Flirty Flamingo, nine and a fourth by seven and three fourths. On the long side, we're gonna score it at two and three fourths and three and a fourth, and then six and six and a half. And then we're gonna turn it and score the short side at three and three and a half. Now, in case you were wondering, I did record what I call clean recordings earlier. Um, and they are on my YouTube channel already. They, in case you want to come back and make this, um, the clean recording will have, you know, you know, sometimes when you're watching a live and the person's like, hey, so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. Well, it, you're like, get to the directions already, lady. Well, I <laughs> record those clean recordings so that you guys, if you need to come back and, and watch it, you don't have to put up with all the Facebook nonsense. So those will be up. They're on YouTube. I haven't made them um, public yet, but they'll be linked on today's post too. All right, burnish all those lines. And now let's get our paper trimmer. You know, I thought this was called the Stampin' Trimmer. That must have been the old one because last night I realized it's called Paper Trimmer in the catalog. Maybe that was the, when we changed over. I just thought it was the Stampin' Trimmer. I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just jib jabbing. We're going to cut these two sections at an angle. You're going to start up here at this score line and go to this score line, okay? So corner to corner basically. And I line those score lines there up in the gutter with your paper trimmer, not your stampin' trimmer, unless you still have a stampin' trimmer. And then you're going to do the same thing over here on this side. My daughter said that her boyfriend was going to the beach for the weekend. I said, I uh, don't really think that's where he's going. <laughs> she was like, what? The beaches are closed. You better check with him. Mm -hmm. Sneaky boyfriend. No, not really. He's a sweetie. All right, I'm going to cut this section, this large section here, and this section here, okay? I'm going to cut those off. You know, I did read that the beaches here would be open. No, no, I read that they would be closed to vehicle traffic. So somebody posted that they it would be so fun carrying all their stuff, you know, blocks and blocks to the beach instead of being able to drive on there. So maybe the beaches will be open. You're just going to have to walk a really long way. Who knows? Um, you know, okay, hold on. I'm going to stop talking. Clip, clip right here. Um, do you really think on the beach that that stuff could spread? Because, you know, the it's so windy. On the beach, what do you guys think? I, of course, I'm no medical expert, but that just seems really far-fetched that it would be able to, but again, no one asked me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this little balloon. Um, it, this balloon is really cute. Um, and I'm gonna stamp it, and I'm gonna go down the edge so that that kind of gives me and then I'm gonna, you know, like a, a pattern. I'm gonna go up and then over. 
and then down. I shouldn't be talking about COVID because we're supposed to be having fun, right? Catherine, yeah, um, we have a friend who does have a um, public or a private boat ramp, but she said, well, she has her boat there, and but she said they are full. So I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that just means, sorry, you can't launch your boat here or if that means you can't have your boat at our marina. But but then I also was thinking, you know, the the lake's going to be crazy on 4th of July. We should just wait till next weekend. Because I was also thinking about my husband. My husband grew up with a boat. And he knows how to put the boat in the water and pull it out of the water. But he hasn't done it in a really long time. And maybe the 4th of July isn't the time to try that out with so many boats everywhere. You know, he would probably, if I, if he heard me say that, he'd probably, oh, oh, I could totally do it. But I mean, it's probably been at least 20 years since he's done that. Brand new boat. Can you imagine? All right, I have put adhesive. This is the new Stampin' Seal Plus, and I can get rid of that. I have put that on the outside of these two sections, okay? I'm gonna fold in, actually, no, no. I'm gonna fold these tabs into these over here, like that. Fold these in like that. Cindy, the, Cindy says, the boat ramp is the best entertainment. I know. And I, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of, Cindy. All right, I pu I'm putting my Kit Kat in here so that it kind of gives me, um, when I push these sides in, it kind of gives me that firm, you know, to push and really get that adhesive there. Because when it's empty, it kind of buckles a little bit. So put your candy in there and get it like that. I remember my dad had a boat. I didn't, he had a fishing boat. And I, but I remember, I only went with him every now and then, but I remember that being a very stressful part of the trip. Putting the boat in, taking the boat out. All right, now this is a piece of just Flirty Flamingo DSP from the Brights stack. I'm gonna put that right there. And here's where you have options with this. You can take these and adhere them closed if you want. But I left mine like this because I think this is a good place to write like a little sentiment. You could do like a little white rectangle or something and do a sentiment. But you don't have to. You can just um, adhere them. We're going to put a belly band around it so that it'll stay closed either way, okay? This is a strip of um, balmy blue. And I'm just going to wrap it. No score lines. Just wrap it to match. And a little bit of Stamp and Seal Plus. You know, I think I'm gonna start calling that plus. A little bit of plus, because Stamp and Seal Plus, that's a mouthful. That's too much. Too much. <laughs> All right, let's make the tag. Now we are gonna use this little hippo first, okay? He's real cute. And I will tell you that Playing with this stamp set in the beginning, I was frustrated because I couldn't line them up. Um, and you guys know I stamp every single day. So I thought if I can't line these up, I bet most people can't line them up. So then I thought, hello, you have a Stamparatus. This is what a Stamparatus is born to do, right? So get your Stamparatus, Whisper White down here. We're going to stamp him um, in... I'm trying to look for my scrap paper. We're gonna stamp him in um, Pacific Point, but for his first layer, we're gonna stamp off first so that it's lighter. Now you could just pick a lighter blue if you don't wanna mess with stamping off. Um, this blue that we used, um, balmy blue would probably work well. All right, so stamp it on a scrap piece of paper. Uh-oh, oh no, let's clean it because there's a little there's a little like piece of lint. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, let's try that again. Good thing that was on the scrap paper. Oh, really, Cindy, it's been bananas. Well, you know, the boat guy said um, that boats sales have gone through the roof. There's actually very little inventory anywhere in the United States. Because, I mean, okay, so now see how I stamped on the scrap. Now I'm going to stamp it on the white. Because really, you know, I was supposed to go to Hawaii next week. No Hawaii. No camps. Nothing. So what are people doing? 
they're buying, trying to find a way to have some fun this summer and enjoyment. And they're spending their money on boats. Uh, we probably would not have bought a boat had it not been for this situation. Okay, now this is the second part of the hippo and you wanna line it up there. Close your, close your um, plate. And this time we're gonna do it in full strength. Yes, Renee's ch campers too, I have heard that. Yep, and bikes and roller skates. I heard this morning on Kelly and Ryan that roller skates have been sold out everywhere. How cute, isn't he cute? So yeah, people are just looking for ways to get out of their house safely, right? I mean, you could get on an airplane, but that's probably pretty risky. Pretty, and I'm I'm not real scared, but but getting on a plane that that does bring me some pause. Like, mm, that feels a little, a little bit like you know. Okay, here's the little face. This is the third part. The face is so cute. Oops. I don't know about you guys, but the photopolymers, when I'm trying to adjust them, they stick to my fingers. So I have found that if you take your scissors or you take your pick tool and move it around for some reason, it doesn't stick to that. So we're gonna do his little face in black. And there he is. Oh, so cute. Okay, now before we take this off, we're gonna stamp a couple of those balloons again in Flirty Flamingo, okay? And we're gonna do the sentiment hippo birthday um, in Pacific Point, just randomly. All right, now we can take this off. Let me get that, put that, move that. We're gonna need it again in a minute. I don't want to lose it. All right, now on your die cut machine, you want to grab your dies. And I don't think I even pointed out the dies. We've used these dies, and I've talked about them a little bit, but the dies are fantastic. Of course, they've, they've got all the animals um, to cut out. They've got little accessories to go with them, like the balloon and the flower. And this is the horn. We're going to use that in a little while. Um, but these stitch labels awesome so even if you didn't like the hippos necessarily i think that the um the dyes are worth just for the labels all right now everybody hold your breath while i run this through let's see how it goes all right hopefully it didn't jump these teeny tiny dyes will jump um, on your magnet plate. Wow, that one's behaving nicely. I don't know why. Thanks for sharing, Kathy. I appreciate that. Uh-oh, looks like my hippos shifted a little bit, but oh no, he's okay. Now well, we're going to go with it. He's a little bit off-centered. That's okay. If it's perfect, it doesn't look handmade, right? That's what they say. All right, so now on this tag, I've already cut out one of those tags. Um, this is the second largest. I'm gonna put him here so I can kind of eyeball where I want these strings. These are the um, balloon strings, so I'm gonna do that. And then we need mini dimensionals, which are on the other side of my desk. We're gonna put these on with mini dimensionals. like that and we'll put that one like that and that one like that and then our hippo let's put that big dimensional there and there he is so cute and let's see remember i said i gotta remember where that paper trimmer is here it is <laughs> i didn't remember where it was Oh, geez. Okay, now I'm just going to cut this out just as tall as the words are. There they go. It's sticking right there. And then I'm going to cut these like this and like that. So we're just cutting those words apart. 
Okay, so bring back those mini dimensionals. And thanks, Patricia, I appreciate that. Hippo birthday, there's another hippo saying, what is it? Um, hip, hippo, hooray, I like that one too. I couldn't decide, so I just went with this one. Both of them are cute. Hippo birthday, there we go. And we're almost done. We're gonna put this right here on that, like that. And I couldn't leave well enough alone. It sat like this on my desk for a week, but then yesterday I decided it definitely needed a bow. This set, I keep describing it as whimsical. Um, it's very um, childlike, it seems to me, very um, kid-oriented. And so I thought that this um, tool dotted ribbon, if I can get it, um, would be cute. I like this ribbon, but those dots make it kind of tricky to pull your your loops back through. They kind of create a barrier, a roadblock. All right, and there we go. And ta-da! Cute. Oh, wait, but wait, there's more. This is what I forgot. And I forgot to do this on my other video, my clean recording. Add a little wink of Stella right there to that balloon. You could do it to those balloons too, but we'll just leave it like that. What do you guys think? Really cute, really fun, and not terribly difficult. I mean, the stamping that hippo is probably the hardest part. I think the, the holder is pretty easy. Okay, there we go, there's that. Let's see what I need to save back over here for the next project. And, hmm, which one do I wanna do next? We'll do, we'll do, let's see, I don't need that. We'll do this one. You guys remember the zebra rainbow card? right? The cute zebra rainbow card that I did that I love so much. Well, I couldn't stop thinking about that rainbow. So I thought, let's do it again, but this time it's different. Um, we're going to put it on cardstock and cut them out with a stitched rectangle. And we're going to stamp those little butterflies in the coordinating colors. Okay. All right. We're going to start with our stamping and these little butterflies, you're going to need the outline and the inside and then the tiniest stamp that was ever made i don't know can you even see it <laughs> i mean it is the tiniest stamp ever made the tiny little face all right here's my color my rainbow that i chose this time hold on red orange yellow let me get it in order red orange yellow green blue purple um so magenta madness mango melody daffodil delight granny apple Coastal Cabana. Okay, hold on, you guys, just a second. Hey, Addie, can you please turn that down? Okay, thanks. Um, don't mind me. I'm just doing Facebook Live. Um, okay, so get a piece of Whisper White, just like a scrap piece, doesn't matter. And we're gonna stamp these. Oh, we also need our um, chamois. Okay, you're gonna. First, stamp the solid part, but you're gonna stamp off first, just like we did with that hippo. So magenta madness, stamp off, and then stamp, whoa, and then clean. Okay, and then the outline, like that, in full strength, clean. You gotta remember to clean it. And then the, the teeny tiny little face, so tiny. <laughs> okay, there we have that one. Now Mango Melody, I, I'm worried I didn't clean. Now the dogs are wanting out. Put them in their kennel. And now they're scratching. Let us out, mama. Not yet. All right, full strength on that one. And then the face. Now I did not clean on that time. Gotta clean them. All right, you know, my Magenta Madness ink pad it looks rough seen some seen some stamps in its day daffodil delight daffodil delight solid or full strength okay and the face and i'm so distracted by that dog he needs to stop doing that hmm. 
All right, have you guys seen, this is Granny Apple Grain, full straight stamp off. You know the Holderness family, they do those funny little, um, gosh, it looks like I didn't clean it, but I guess it did. Um, they do those funny parody videos. They're like a mom and dad, and then they have two kids, and they do those super funny videos. Well, I just saw one today that was, when will it end, or something like that. <laughs> basically like you know being super super bored at home this summer and the kids that now that school's over there's really nothing for them to do it was so funny um you know trying to work while your kids are home I don't know it was just really funny if you haven't seen it you need to look it up the Holderness family they're so funny they they come out with like a new video like every day I don't know how they do it all right, now we've done that. Before we bring over the die cut machine, we're gonna adhere these strips. These are three quarter inch strips and I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal. Um, you want to just put some adhesive. This is a piece of cardstock that is just larger than my rectangle die, okay? And I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna go in rainbow order. So red or pink, orange, yellow, green. And these are the same colors that we, we did, the ink and blue, Coastal Cabana. All right, now don't worry that it's off center because you're gonna take your die and you're gonna die cut it so that you'll have a little bit of white there and a little bit of white there, okay? So now let's bring it over. And I have to cut these, now we'll do this first. The If you have the stitched rectangles, you may know that they are delicate. That's what I'm going to call them. They're delicate. They don't cut through several layers of cardstock or two layers of cardstock very well at all. So because we are cutting through two layers, you need to really go backwards and forwards and then turn it over. And if you see that it hasn't cut out, put it down like this, put your plate on it and run it through again. For some reason, upside down um, really will cut things that you know wouldn't necessarily have cut through. You know, if you have a real um, intricate die, um, turning it upside down will help. All right, now maybe I should have gone through one more time. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna do the butterfly, and this is gonna take me a minute because we've got five. Hi, Terry and Karen from Arizona. Oh, Karen, we've been hearing lots about Arizona. I love Arizona. I follow um, an account on Instagram that's, I, oops, that's like um, a visitor, you know, um, tourism account. And they posted a picture today of something that was so beautiful. Arizona would be a good place to be in lockdown because there's so many beautiful outside places to go. I don't think it's up in the mountains. doesn't get too hot, right? I mean, I know it gets hot during the day, like in Phoenix and stuff. Here, it's just oppressively hot and humid. And, you know, like this morning, I walk. I do three miles every morning. Well, Monday through Friday. And this morning, it was like a wet blanket. It was so disgusting at 7 a.m. That's the problem here in the summer. You just never get any relief. Um, I did do a video on my triangle card. Yes, I did. It's on my YouTube channel. All right, we've got all of our little butterflies. There we go. And we'll move this out of the way. And bring our rainbow. I'm just, I'm making tons of rainbow cards these days. My table is crooked. Um, maybe not. Maybe it was, should have been that way. I don't know. 
Um, I'm making tons of rainbow cards these days. I really like rainbows. Before we start adhering anything, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment, and the sentiment's so cute. Fluttering by, just to say hi. I'm gonna do it in Granny Apple, right there on the Granny Apple piece. Okay. And now I'm gonna get um, mini dimensional, and I'm gonna put these little butterflies, matching colors. Oh, Vicki in Utah is my favorite. Oh, you're in Utah. Oh, yeah, Utah is my very, very favorite. Arizona is becoming a very, very close second. Um, the mountains, I just love the mountains. All right, this guy's gonna be going this way. Hey, Addie, yeah. will you let Mac out? I don't think he's gonna stop scratching at that door. And this yellow guy. And, hmm, that doesn't look right. He needs to be over a little bit more like that. Let's pay, have him facing that way. And then that way, right there. Okay, now, one more thing left to do. Um, you're gonna need your ink pads again and your chamois, because we're gonna go between colors. My chamois is over here. How did I get it all the way over there? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna stamp these little swirls these little dotted lines, like flying lines, for each one, okay? And they're gonna be going different directions. So there's Coastal Cabana, and then Granny Apple, we'll have him kind of going like that, okay? And then Daffodil, that guy's gonna come from this direction. This is what, this is my favorite part of this card. I think the little, the little swirl, the little, I don't know, what do you even call these? The little lines that show them flying, really. Oh, here comes the crew, all four, in here. Thinking that mama needs help. No, mama doesn't need help. I usually only have three dogs, but today we're babysitting the Corgi. She's so sweet. All right, and then last but not least, that one. Isn't that cute? I, I love the little swooshes. It makes your, I don't know, your card gives it movement or something. It's just really, really cute. All right, now, last but not least, dimensionals. Karen, you like it good. I love it too. I am just into rainbows and these like hot pink, you know, and um, kind of neon colors, bright, bright, bright colors. Love it. All right. And there we go, a whisper white card base, and that's it. And let's see, there they are together. This, do you guys, some of you probably want to know the measurements on this die. I meant to do that yesterday on my PDF and I didn't. This, this rectangle measures roughly four and three fourths by three and a fourth, okay? Four and three fourths by three and a fourth. It's not the largest. It's the second largest, I think. All right, one more project. Let me get a drink. All right, good. I'm glad you guys like it. I loved it. Sometimes when I make a card that I love, it kills me to like not show it immediately. <laughs> I love it so much, I wanted to show it off. But I knew I had to save it for today. Okay, one more cute little rainbow unicorn card. Um, this one, we're gonna make the unicorn. He is probably the cutest little critter in this set. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is our new rainbow glimmer paper. And it's delicious. I think you're really gonna like it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first we need to make this scene. We need to set the stage for our little unicorn, okay? So, you're gonna need lots of white. Let me get it all out. Um, you're gonna need one piece that is like the, the background. It's four and five and a fourth. Then you need another piece that's four, and, four by four. And then another piece that's, I think, two and a half by four. And then another one that's one and a half by four. See how they're layered like that? Um, and then, to make that cloud, oh, also I had a scrap piece. 
and I use Thick Whisper White on this. That's gonna be our um, template. You can also use these as your template if you want. Um, that's actually what I did with this. I used this to make that and then I stuck it down and then I used that to make that. So you can do that as you go um, or you can just cut a little template to half. This is the die. It's in the Happy Dies right here, this set. And if you haven't seen this yet, this is gonna be next week's Facebook Friday. I like this set a whole lot, these dies especially. So we're gonna use these next week, but we're also gonna use it this week, okay? We're gonna use that, the little cloud image. So bring this over and the four by five and a fourth, we don't need to cut, but the rest of them we do. And we want to vary the placement of the clouds, okay? Um, and what I mean by that is you don't want them all exactly the same as they go down. So I think I'll start with this one kind of like that. Whoops, not sideways, like that. Okay, we'll run that through. Oh goodness, come on now. See, now the magnet's gonna misbehave. Okay, so run that through. And then get the next size piece. And we'll do the other side like that. And you can turn them like that if you needed to, you know, if you needed it to be, I don't know if they, if they look too similar, you can flip them to the back. And then we'll do this one. We'll do just kind of in the middle. All right. Now, let's move that out of the way. You're gonna need a Stampin' Sponge and a balmy blue. You could do Pool Party also. Pool Party's a little green though, I think, for sky. That's why I like to use, a, use balmy blue. All right, so get your scrap paper. And I like to take just a little bit of adhesive just a little bit, just so that my paper doesn't slide all over the place, all right? And you're gonna get your sponge and your ink, and you're just gonna start doing this, all right? You can do it as much or as little as you like. Obviously, the more you do it, the darker it's gonna be, okay? And like I said, flip it over so that your clouds look different. Okay. And I think I'll flip it over again. In this piece, you really, you don't need to go all the way down. Just about halfway or two thirds. Okay. All right, there's that piece. Now we'll do the next one. And my, my look at my sponge. I need to get a new sponge for this color. It's falling apart because I've used it so much. All right, let's do like this. It's a little bit tedious, but it's very satisfying as my kids would say. Do y'all's kids say that? Oh, it's so satisfying to watch. I'm like, oh, okay, that seems weird, but okay. Satisfying, I hear that all day. Must be a YouTube TikTok thing. Who knows? I hear it once somewhere and then, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna take this also and I want those to kind of stand out. So I'm gonna do that dark like that. Okay, all right. Moving through, next piece. Whoops. There we go. You could also probably use your brayer, but I don't think you would necessarily get the same look. All right, that's good enough. Get those edges and one more, the teeny tiny one, stick it there. Hopefully my sponge can last one more piece. 
Um, the clouds, Jennifer, are from the Happy Dyes. They, um, I will, I'm going to do three projects with those dies next week. Um, but they are called the Happy Dyes. All right, there we go. Now, Let's layer them up. This is just our mask. One thing we need to do also is I punched a circle right there. So he's kind of like coming out of the clouds. So I'm doing that with my one and a half inch circle right over here like that. And I probably want to add a little bit of color around on the edges of those that circle. All right, now lots and lots of dimensionals. You know what? I'm going to show you guys something. Hold on. I have showed you guys this before, but I'm going to show you again. This is the new adhesive, the foam adhesive sheets. I love these, especially last night I was making a whole bunch of something and I, it was like this. It needed four dimensionals and it was going to take a really long time. So instead I took my foam adhesive sheets and just cut them down like this. So then it's just, I don't know, it's less tedious than having to peel off the adhesive of, you know, four or five little dimensionals like that. And then like that. I kind of like it. <laughs> All right. So um, you can cut them thin. They go a long way. Um, and just put them down and it peels off so much easier. All right. And like that. And one more. This one, I'm just going to do one long one. Let's see. Is it too long? Yep. Let's cut it down just a little bit. Laura, your foam adhesive comes tomorrow. I just got some new because I've already gone through what I had originally ordered. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh oh, okay. So there we go. All right, look at all that. If you're going to mail this card, you're going to need <laughs> extra uh, postage. All right, let me move my adhesive sheets. Now, let's do the sentiment before we put it on the card base because we're going to use more dimensionals. When in doubt, okay, I'm going to pull it down so I get it straight. When in doubt, be a unicorn. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, now we're gonna put this on this card. So I think I'll, oh no, Mac, don't start. Mac is not usually the barker, but he doesn't like the corgi. Like she makes him nervous. So when she, <laughs> whenever she makes a sudden move, he has to tell us about it. And she just like snuggles up to him, like, don't you like me? And he's like, Rrr. I'm a grouchy old schnauzer. All right, there we go. Now, there's our card base. Okay, let's make our um, unicorn. We're gonna do that in the same way with the, with the Stamparatus on Whisper White. And we're gonna use Highland Heather and um, Gorgeous Grape. All right, so get your solid first and it could just be a horse too maybe he doesn't want to be a unicorn maybe he wants to just be a horse and blend in for the crowd but no we're gonna make him we're gonna make him a unicorn all right so this time you know last time i stamped off but this time we've got two inks i'm using the lighter one for the back okay oh man i had a little bit of fuzz on that one too but that's okay we're gonna cover that up my stamps are dirty. I need to give them a bath. If you ever, if your stamps just feel like they're collecting lint and they've lost their stickiness, go give them a bath in Dawn dish soap. It makes them like brand new. All right. Oh, come on. Okay, hold on. I got to pull it down so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, actually, no. Ah, too much. There we go. Okay. Dawn dish soap. You know, Dawn dish soap is like the cure for everything. <laughs> I don't know why, but it seems to be the cure for everything. All right. Let's see. 
how that looks. Oh, he's cute. Now there's a little face for him and he, the face is weird. Um, you have to find the little nostrils and line those nostrils up and then you will be, okay guys, you're gonna see my head, I'm sorry. I just can't see there. I think that's right. Okay, the nostrils. Hi Vicki, I hope you had a good birthday. All right, stamp that, there we go. Now, okay, we've got that. We've got one more thing to do. And I'm gonna show you the world's smallest die. Now I showed you the world's smallest stamp. This one is very, very small too. This is our unicorn horn. And the stamp itself is not terribly, I mean, it's small. It's not as small as the butterfly face. Oh, just get on there. It doesn't matter where you go. Okay, but when you see the die in a minute, <laughs> it is tiny. I almost think it would be better to cut it with your scissors because it is a little bit small. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. Now, let's get the die cut machine, bring it over. Man, I've got open ink pads everywhere. Not good, not good at all. Now, if you are stamping the unicorn and you're not gonna cut him out, you can just stamp that, um, whoops, you're gonna stamp that right on him, right? Like if you're gonna just put it like on a circle or something, you're not gonna cut him out, don't worry about having to cut that out because you can just stamp it right there. But the dies, they're two different dies. Okay, if I can even get it off of this thing, it's so tiny. All right, here it is, so tiny. All right, now I have to use a post-it note on this one. Gotta use a post-it note, there's no way. Okay, don't breathe, hold your breath. It's hard to, that one, because it's hard to see where you're placing it. Yeah, I was totally off too. Hmm. Do I have um do I have a block? Let's stamp that again, see if I can do it. Oh, did I take that off the stamparatus? No, here it is. Okay, let's try again. We'll run it back through one time. We'll give us one more try. Maybe if I do it up here, I'll be able to see it better. Okay, now get the die, and the tweezers will probably be good for this too. <laughs> now it's sticking to my, my scissors because they're magnetized. All right, I want you guys to see me struggling with this so that when you use yours, you won't feel like, why did she have such an easy time? She didn't. So see what I'm saying? Maybe just get your scissors. <laughs> so, Denise, I know. She, Denise says, don't lose it. I'm not kidding. This thing, it'll, oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful, perfect. This thing, it'll be a miracle if I don't lose that thing. It will be a miracle. All right, round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh, they're both perfect, aren't they? See, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta try it again. First time isn't always right. Okay, now let's get this guy in place. Don't lose this. That's what's gonna happen. That's where you need the tweezers. Look how tiny, so tiny. Um, okay, one big dimensional for this guy or girl. I don't know, it's probably a girl. Okay, like she's coming through the clouds. Then, a little bit, you know, I really need to get some tweezers. I used to have tweezers in here and they disappeared. Okay, that's the wrong one. This one's the one. And they disappeared because you really do need the tiniest little bit of glue and then you need tweezers. Take your pick tool would work too. Let's use that. Let's try. Get that putty. If I have any in here. All right. Oh yeah, that works. I feel like I'm doing surgery. Oh, ta-da! I mean, 
perfect. <laughs> Don't breathe. It might fall off. Okay, now wait. The best part of this card is the rainbow. So I have to show you the rainbow. Um, if you haven't, whoa, I almost tripped over my big shot. If you haven't seen the rainbow glimmer paper, oh my gosh, you've got to see it. Look at it. Doesn't that remind you of like a popsicle in the summer when you're a kid? Oh, just beautiful. Um, so what I'm gonna do to make my rainbow, I'm gonna cut a quarter inch strip off this side and then I'm gonna cut it into three inch strips, okay? So let's move it right here and just, that looks like a little bit more than, yeah, I think that was a little bit too generous of a force. All right, there we go. And then you don't feel like you've used very much of it <clears throat> because I know some of you out there don't wanna cut into your beautiful rainbow glimmer paper. Um, now let's cut it into these three inch strips. Okay. One. <laughs> Carly, you found your tweezers in your husband's toolbox. You know, I, the first, the first person I would blame is my youngest. She is like a pack rat. And when she borrows something, you will never see it again. Okay. Now, we are gonna glue these with liquid glue. And let's start with the pink one, okay? Um, Uh-oh, the neighbor's dog is right outside the window. I hope my dogs don't see him. All right, we're gonna start right here, right at the bottom and go up like that. Okay, and then let's do orange. What's the deal with the dogs? Gosh. Every time I do anything, Facebook, it's all about the dogs. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green. I know it's not a perfect rainbow, but it's pretty. Um, Christine, this is a rainbow glimmer paper. It comes like that. Did you see it? Look, it looks like this, see? Mm -hmm. Did you, oh, just beautiful. Beautiful. All right, now one more little strip in here. And I would let this dry. And then you're gonna cut it off even with the edge. Okay, so leave it like that, let it dry. And then get your scissors and cut right along that edge. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. So pretty. Now, let me tell you guys, I made this card and I stopped here and I could not figure out what it needed. I really could not figure it out. I needed some cloud die cuts, like some little clouds. And I don't, I only use what we have current product and we don't have any current product clouds. So what I decided is to add just some little raindrops, just to balance give it some balance these are the clear or frosted either one epoxy drops and we'll add four or five and then i felt like once i added those we had balance there we go very pretty what do you guys think i love it i love it i'm going to use that glimmer paper i actually ordered several packs because i'm going to use it a lot and i didn't want to feel like that I needed to not use it, you know, like I didn't want to cut into it. So now I have, I think I have three packs of it. So I will not be scared to use it. I've got plenty. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's projects. Let's look at them. We made two different rainbows and a hippo birthday cake Kit Kat holder. All right, now, if you would like for me to send these to you for free, make and take packets, um, you'll need the stamps and the dies for the Happy Hippo or Hippo Happiness. Um, all you have to do is put in an online order by Monday at midnight. This Today's Thursday, so you have all the way till Monday. Um, make sure you use this host code if your order is over. Um, no, if your order is under $35, use the host code. If your order is... Over $150, don't use a host code because you're going to get stamp and rewards. 
Now I want to just make sure that I stress to you guys something real quick. What page is this on? I don't know. I could use the index, but I feel like I will find it. Okay. I want to show you guys something. Hold on just a second. Hippo happiness is on page 49. Oh, I wasn't even close. All right. Make sure if you are buying this, that you use the bundle, the bundle number because you save 10%. I don't feel like you can see the bundle number very well this year. And if you enter the stamp number and the die number separately, you don't save the 10%. You have to use the bundle number to save 10%, okay? So make sure if you're gonna buy them, you do the bundle, save 10%, okay? All right, grab the PDF and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope that you get to relax and celebrate, maybe. Maybe stay in and stamp. I don't know. I just hope you guys have a great weekend. If you email me this weekend, I will not be quick to respond. I'm going to just try to relax, so be patient with me, okay? And I will be back next Friday with the happy dies and three more projects. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.